My name is Tor Baer, and I'm the head of growth and marketing for a project called Enigma. I used to be a uh, economics major. I got really interested in behavioral economics, uh, incentive system design. That always fascinated me from an early age. Uh, after school, I went into derivatives trading because I wanted to see how these concepts applied to the real world. I didn't much like what they were being applied for, though. So when I went back and I got my MBA at MIT, they had been teaching blockchain courses there for the first time at the Media Lab. I went out of my way to be able to take those because that seemed to be the first really groundbreaking implementation of incentive structures that, that I had seen, like a way to decentralize trust. That was really mind-blowing for me. And since then, I've just been looking for more ways in which blockchain and other decentralized technologies can be applied and the way we can create decentralized incentive systems that can create new types of solutions. Enigma is trying to accomplish something really unique in the blockchain space because blockchain doesn't solve everything. It has a couple of specific weaknesses, one of which is privacy. And blockchains are good at a very, blockchains are good at a few things, including uh, trust and verification. But because they're designed to be auditable, because they're designed to give you a record of transactions, they're bad at privacy by design. What Enigma is trying to do is introduce privacy solutions that are decentralized, that work alongside blockchain, so that you can create decentralized applications and smart contracts that can use private and sensitive data instead of keeping all of that data on a blockchain, which means it's going to be super slow and it means all that data is going to be public. You can instead send that data encrypted to Enigma's network where we do private computations and then the results of those computations get submitted to a blockchain. And that way we're solving both privacy and scalability for blockchains. And I think that those are the two biggest challenges facing adoption of blockchain and other decentralized technologies. The way that the Enigma network works is data is submitted to the network encrypted. And nodes in the Enigma network will perform computations on the encrypted data. We have a few different types of solutions, some hardware-based, some software-based, that allow us to do these computations while preserving the privacy of the underlying data. The reason it's more scalable than doing this on-chain is because those computations are sharded across the Enigma network. Not every node is going to have to be performing each computation, but because of the way that the network is structured and because we use blockchain as a verification layer, we're able to still know that the computation was performed correctly, even if the entire network didn't have to perform that computation. In that way, we've created a scalable solution that's also solving for privacy. A secret contract is a new kind of smart contract. The way that smart contracts currently work, uh, you're usually using on-chain data as an input to the contract. With secret contracts, you're able to create smart contracts that can use as inputs private or sensitive data because that data is off-chain and submitted to the Enigma network already encrypted. At no point during the computation process is it exposed to the nodes themselves that are performing the computations. I think of secret contracts as the next natural evolution of what smart contracts are and can be. And I believe that because of the privacy preserving nature of secret contracts, they are going to be the foundation of the decentralized web. With decentralized applications, I think that any type of truly useful, scalable application is going to require some kind of personal, sensitive, private data. If you wanted to use let's say uh, anything about your credit history or anything about your medical data, or if you wanted to use something even as simple as your location. You know, these are all things that are very common 
in applications that we see today, traditional centralized applications. If we want to decentralize these applications, we're going to need solutions for being able to use those types of personal data. But if we can do that, you can imagine things like a decentralized credit network where you don't need a centralized company like Equifax to store and compute your credit history and your credit score and data. You can have uh, marketplaces for your healthcare data so that researchers have more access to more data when they're designing new treatments for diseases. This isn't just, you know, pure speculation. Like these are real problems that have faced healthcare, credit, finance industries for decades. And for the first time, I feel like we're getting closer to real solutions because of the way that decentralized technologies are developing. Being a part of a decentralized team is a huge challenge. And this isn't the first time I've had to be part of a decentralized team. But for us, it's, it's particularly interesting because not only is our core team decentralized, we're building a global community. Our community is in dozens of countries around the world. It's people from different industries, from different backgrounds. The way that we organize our own team internally is similar to how we have to organize our global community. It's, it's a lot of different interests in a lot of different places. Everybody has their own perspective on why what we're building is critical and important. And everybody brings their own skills to telling our story and building our technology and finding partners and applying what we're building to solutions around the world. I think that if we're going to be effective as a decentralized team, just the Enigma team, you know, it's going to be because we found a way to be effective as a global community as well of tens of thousands of people. And so I guess when you put it in those terms, it doesn't scare me being a couple dozen people at Enigma all around the world when I know that what we're really trying to build is hundreds of thousands of people around the globe who are aware of our solutions and implementing it themselves. I don't want to take credit for how our community formed because I think that we're just in the right place at the right time. We're solving this issue of data privacy, which is all over the news. We all feel it fundamentally when we see how data has been misused. We're all looking for meaningful solutions. It's easy to sort of say, we recognize this problem. And it's easy to say, maybe blockchain has something to do with a solution. It's hard to build a solution that is decentralized and that is still going to be meaningfully better than the centralized solutions we currently use for protecting data. What we have is broken, but fixing it is not trivial. I think what we've attracted is a community of people who both take the problem seriously and are motivated to build solutions. And the reason they're so committed to Enigma and what we're trying to build is because they see how seriously we take it as well. And for anybody who's been waiting to find like-minded people, regardless of where they live or what they work on day to day, you know, this is, this is what they've been waiting for. And honestly, this is what I've been waiting for too. I've lived in Chicago a total of six years of my life. I grew up on the East Coast, uh, but I love Chicago. And I think that Chicago is a city that's both practical, but full of dreamers. And it's always been on the cutting edge of all kinds of innovations, whether it's technological or financial. Uh, the energy here is so good. And at the same time, it doesn't have the same sort of structure as New York or San Francisco, where it seems to be a race to the top or a race to the bottom. Like, there's much more familial culture here. And I think because that mirrors our own community so well at Enigma, I'm really excited about the potential of the Chicago community. I see so many ways in which it's working together to build something bigger than itself. And I don't see any reason why Chicago couldn't become the primary hub for decentralized technology in the country or the world. There, all the pieces are here. This is a full stack city. Everything is here that you would need to create the culture to make this the place to go as a blockchain project, as a blockchain builder, as a blockchain investor, as a blockchain implementer. Everything is here. It's just a little cold. 
Right now at Enigma, we're focused on getting more partners building on our protocol. We launched our testnet at the end of June. We're going to be releasing a bunch more iterations and we plan to get our mainnet out before the end of this year. And in the meantime, we're working with a lot of different projects around the world. Uh, there's some in Asia, there's some in Europe, there's some in Israel, there's some in America, all trying to implement secret contracts into what they're doing. And they all are targeting different building blocks within the decentralized ecosystem. Some are looking at voting solutions, some are looking at auctions, some are looking at credit, some are looking at uh, civil attack prevention. There are so many different applications of our technology and it's been inspiring to see how all these different projects all see applications of what we're building to the very real solutions that they're trying to implement for very real specific problems within their fields. If we can support those projects and we can grow that ecosystem, then that's a successful year for us. We're going to be expanding our ecosystem aggressively globally over the next few years because we believe everybody should have access to these kinds of data privacy solutions and we want to be that solution for them. At Enigma we have the ambassadors program and I think this is the thing that we're proudest of is we've been able to identify members of our community who are really aligned with our vision for the project and they each have their own specific skill set whether it's in business development or protocol development or in marketing or graphic design or storytelling we have professors we have students we brought together this core community of ambassadors so that they could help us spread the word about our project attract more interest to us and it is just the best group of people that i can imagine in one place at any one time and when I sell this program to new potential ambassadors, you know, when we go on campuses or when we do presentations in cities that we visit around the globe, it's not a hard sell because the first thing is I connect them with our current ambassadors. And they tell them not the story of Enigma, they tell them the story specifically of that ambassador program. Not only are we trying to create a project that's global, we're trying to create a community that's global. And I consider the ambassadors to be uh, each of them a community organizer and together we're going to be able to build something that's much bigger than ourselves. If you want to find out more about Enigma and what we're building the best place is on our website at www.enigma.co and if you want to keep up with updates about the project you go to blog.enigma.co we post pretty frequently there about protocol updates about our ambassador program about partners we're very transparent as a project overall and uh, we look forward to bringing more to the community every single day, every single week. We'll be there. I'm there 24-7.